guys back again with another fan favorite love this shirt i think this is a gamestop shirt but i had to wear it eventually so today i got another diamond select it is spider-man 1990s diorama and check it out it looks like he's got carrying some web there shooting or something like that so, what got me into Spider-Man big time was the 90s cartoons. I collected a few comic books, but I was one of those renegades. I like to cut up some comics and stuff. I didn't realize they're going to be worth money now, 20 years later. What was wrong with me? So, safety first. Bat knife. So, we're going to use rainbow blades to cut open the box. From Big Bad Toy Store, which have been really good to me lately. So, why I like Spider Man is he's actually, from the start of it, he was actually a college guy. He was already Spider Man. They went to flashbacks. I like the flashbacks and stuff, but I'm tired of hearing Ben Parker died over and over. Uncle Ben! I'm so tired of it. So, that's why I like the MCU story going on with the TV right now, but I don't like the fact he's a high school kid. I like the 90s cartoon when he started off because he can throw some flashbacks and stuff. That's it. He slowly back tells a story. Back pedals a little bit, but it makes sense later on. I like it. He goes straight to him. He was already doing his Spider-Man stuff. Yeah, he's new, this and that, whatever. So, oh, yeah. Let me read that real quick. All right. The bite from a radioactive spider granted spider. Peter Parker amazing and arachnid like powers. After losing his beloved Uncle Ben to a burglar, there's what I'm talking about, but this is a backstory to it. Uh, grief stricken Peter vowed to use his incredible abilities to protect New York City as the amazing Spider Man. Peter's trial taught him an invaluable lesson. With great power, there must always come great responsibility. That's the one thing I didn't like about the Amazing Spider-Man movie is because he was out for revenge. You know, ben always taught him, hey man, great power comes great responsibility, right? So, alright guys, let's dig into this toy. Like I said, I got this big bad toy store. Looks like a rooftop thing going on here. You can check some of this stuff out. Diamond Select Toys, Marvel.com, boom, all there. All right, so, of course, there's tape. Be safe to use the objects. Okay. Ooh, that's classy looking to me. Look at those eyes. That's the first thing I see. His eyes are huge. Love it. All right, looks like he's shooting web up here. Cool. That's like a classic look to me. Over here, looks like he shot web up here. Came up here, and now he's about to bounce off this building. It's kind of loose, flexy. I feel like I could break it. I'd be careful with that, but it's pretty much stuck there, glued in. So, a little shot right there. So pretty much he came up here, jumped on the roof, and now he's about to take off again. That's kind of cool. So one of his classic poses, his classic like stance, like man, look at that costume too, man. It is like the darker slash all the webbing everywhere in his costume. Yeah. No nothing fancy, no fancy gizmos or nothing on him. That's almost like Accurate Spider-Man to me. That's what I grew up with. This is the 90s version. So I'm not saying this is Spider-Man from the TV cartoon show. This is actually one from the uh, whole, um, what do you call it? Uh, the comics, actually. If you look at some of the artists and stuff like that, perfect. So it is beautiful, guys. Kind of dark. It'd be nice to have, like, you know, put like a little poster or something behind it, something like that. Maybe bring out his colors, like a brighter red or something like that. That could work. That's nice. 
So the base itself, got a couple of smoke stacks here and there, whatever. Um, he's jumping off a chimney. Not bad. Hollow, of course. It is Diamond Select. What I like about Diamond Select, which I say just about any Diamond Select video, is I like that the fact they're they actually do pretty good for detailing and stuff like that. Even though they're a cheaper version of like the heavier statues, he's kind of light. He would fit on a shelf perfectly. I don't see too many flaws with him, actually. Maybe here. Got a little, looks like too much black over there. Probably messes with these spider webs. Well, we'll say that's wear and tear, you know. Maybe he's out in the rain. He used too much Clorox. I don't know. That would make him a white costume, wouldn't it? So, Peter Parker is awesome as Spider-Man. As he grew up. The younger version, I'm not really big with. Or I can pretend, hey, this is Ben Riley, Which I wish they would make a Ben Riley statue. Ben Riley as Scarlet Spider. Not the new Scarlet Spider who ended up being someone else. This is... Peter Parker, though. It's not bad, guys. It's just a simple little rooftop jump. He would actually look good next to a Batman, actually. I got some, I like these rooftop jump scenes and stuff like that. Like, they're getting ready to battle, going to action. So, like I said, the paint. Found another little... Well, my camera doesn't do justice, though, but... A little red gap right there, right above my finger. No big deal. But for like I said earlier, Diamond Select actually it's anywhere from forty to sixty bucks. DM on the weight of it, design of it, dioramas are always cool. Like it. Spider Man has always been a fan favorite. I think he's actually more popular than Superman. Actually, no, I think Superman is more popular than Spider-Man. But Spider-Man is actually gaining ropes again, like, quick. Thanks to the whole Marvel-Sony agreements, which they've been doing on. So, and I don't know if he's going to make an appearance in the next Venom movie, which I hope doesn't get pushed back. I don't know anything about that yet, so i got to do some homework on that. But this is amazing. This right here was about 46 bucks. It'll sit there, stick them next to other rooftop figures. Let's say Green Arrow, for example. That would be kind of cool, right? So, I hope you guys like. This is not bad. This is actually not a bad little statue. I want to say he's my favorite one, but he's very damn close. Because this is the Spider-Man I grew up with. This is Spider-Man, the wide eyes, the darker costume, the ones you really detailed in the comics. Look up some of the 90s comics and look at the detail, look at the art, and you'll see what I'm talking about. So, well, until next time, kitties. Hope you liked. Bye.